welcome to Test Tuesday. It's your boy Jay Shane, the Keto Road. Let's go. <laughs> So this is why the audio is going to change quality this video. But last day of the cruise, I wanted to show y'all what a day of eating looked like on the cruise. So we're at breakfast. Let's look at what we got. So we got eggs, cilantro, chicken sausage, ham, lots of sour cream, lots of queso fresco, um, cucumbers, super delicious, super nutritious, dense. And just, I don't know, it's amazing. It tastes amazing. All keto friendly, no carbs, because we're hashtag winners. What you got, babe? The same thing. The exact same thing. So guys, what I hope you get out of this video is that, even on a cruise, I've lost 12 pounds on this cruise. That's nuts, okay? So, I'm hoping that I can kind of show you guys how to still enjoy, have delicious food, and stay on point. And you don't have to cheat. The food doesn't have to be the center of this adventure, right? It can just be a part of it. So, stay tuned. All right, guys, we're outside. It's lunchtime. We're about to try this really good burger joint that's on the ship. It's called, um, babe, what's it called? Guy's Burger Joint. Guy's Burger Joint. So, we're gonna test this out. Yeah, uh, can I just get a burger patty, no bun? Just a, yeah, no fries or anything. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, so we got one burger with cheese. We got a bunch of bacon. Some sauteed mushrooms, a little bit of lettuce, some pickles, jalapenos, ranch, spicy mayo, and a little bit of ketchup. Super easy, super filling, super satisfying. It's delicious. Um, but yeah, like best burger I've ever had outside of just ever. Delicious food, delicious. What is going on, guys? Say hi. It's hi. Oh, it wasn't recording. Oh, hi. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Jay Shane. Um, so, as you can see, we're outside. I am home. We are home. Right? Great. So, unfortunately, though, we have to get off the boat really early, and I won't have my cram, my cam, my cram, my cram, my cram. My camera woman with me because she's going to eat. So, I'm not going to get to show you all workout on the cruise, but I will tell you that five out of seven days I worked out, and they were all good workouts, whether they were 30 minutes or an hour. They were all great, great workouts. Um, a couple tips when it comes to working out on a cruise or while you're vacationing, okay? One, understand that, okay, so... And workout, the workout experience is made by three factors, okay? Intensity, time, and frequency, okay? I usually work out six days a week. We couldn't do that. So, um, I made sure that my workouts were more intense and I did a little bit more repetitions, Intensity and frequency. Or intensity and time, right? Time under tension, time duration of the workout. Those are different kinds of time factors that can go into the overall um, workout results. But sometimes the time 
total that I could work out was much lower. Like I couldn't work out for an hour or two hours straight like I normally do at home. I had to work out for 30 minutes. So my time under tension and my frequent and my uh, repetitions were um, a lot more intense. Um, I'm talking, I was supersetting everything. I mean, like, I, most workouts, I think there was one workout where um, I was really exhausted from the day before because of all the sun and everything. So I didn't go too crazy. But most workouts, most workouts, um, I did not sit down. I mean, it was, I was in there for about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. And the entire time I was lifting something. Um, supersetting my upper and lower body, um, just really creating a lot of blood flow in a short amount of time. I mean, I, I mean, I was doing my my watch, and this isn't accurate. This is just a good ballpark number, but I mean, I was burning 600 calories in 30 minutes. That that's a lot of calories in 30 minutes. So, um, was definitely going crazy on that in that department. So just like if if you're on a cruise, you don't have to spend two or three hours in the gym. Go in there for 30 minutes. Just do a bunch of lifting, like do like arms. You can do like biceps and triceps one day. Then do chest and back, and just switch between two exercises of each body part constantly for thirty minutes. And it's yeah, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, you're gonna be huffing and puffing. But once you're done, you're done. You're done for the day. Go enjoy your day. You got it in. You made it a priority first thing. Good for you. Um, the second thing is is get you. Uh, Ashley has already packed all of her bags, but. Get you a set of resistance bands. Resistance bands have been a game changer for me. Um, the ones I use are Under Sun Fitness. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. Under Sun Fitness. Amazing pair of resistance bands. Uh, you get uh, extra heavy, heavy, medium, uh, uh, light, and extra light. Awesome, awesome, awesome resistance bands. They're sturdy. I put them through hell and they still kick back. And they hurt. They work so well. So definitely get some resistance bands. Um, but I think, man, I, I hope with this video that I showed that food and staying keto and working out do not have to be sacrificed on a cruise. And you can still eat. I mean, I guys, I ate delicious food on this cruise. Delicious. I got great workouts in. I lost 13 pounds on this cruise, okay? That's nuts. And I was not trying. I was I was literally stuffing my face. Like, I felt like I was. Every time I ate, I was just enjoying food. I wasn't overthinking it. I wasn't... I just knew potatoes, grains, pastas, and sugar wasn't allowed. And I just ate around it. And it was easy. And it wasn't stressful. If you're making it stressful, nine times out of ten, it's because you're prioritizing your food. And you want to give in to... It's just like someone that doesn't drink and then they decide on the cruise they're going to start drinking. You want to give in to that temptation. Um, and I don't have anything against somebody drinking on vacation. I'm just saying that like if that if, if, if food is the first thing you think about giving up, like I would question your relationship with food. I don't think that's an unhealthy – I think that's a very unhealthy habit. Um, I used to do it. Good God, I was, I was talking to my wife last night about how – you know, the more I think about my relationship with food now and how I respond to when I was a kid is crazy. Like, we went to that burger place. I had one burger, ate it, was satisfied, I was done. Um, I remember when I was a kid and we went on vacation, man, like, breakfast, like, I would literally eat until my stomach hurt. Like, it was fun to see how much food I could put in my belly. Lunch, same thing. Dinner. Man, I would eat like two bowls of chips, and if I was still, if my stomach was hurting, I'd still eat all my dinner. Like, I'm talking like I would eat obnoxious amounts of food, um, and food was always something I was excited about. Like when we were on vacation, ooh, where are we gonna eat? Ooh, where are we gonna eat? Ooh, what are we gonna eat? Ooh, what are we gonna eat? I was always like that uh, up until two, three years ago. Um, like, it would, no, maybe even two years ago. Like, it hasn't been that long since I've really dialed in my relationship with food and made it healthy like guys like that is not healthy if you're prioritizing food and like saying oh i'm just going to pig out don't pig out you don't have to pig out like i'm not saying like one day of just like enjoying some foods that you that you want to enjoy isn't bad but when that's the priority and that's your focus and that's what makes the experience 
that's a problem because I used to have that problem. I know. Um, so it's just something to think about. Like learn that food is not the experience, but it's a small part of a huge experience of being in the moment, being with loved ones, and enjoying your time of disconnecting and enjoying nature and all of God's creation because, man, it is something to see. And if you get your face out the plate and look up in the sky and you soak it in, man, it's so much more beautiful. All right, guys, that's it for this video. That's it for this series. I hope you enjoyed the whole cruise vacation thing. I know it's, I know you're probably ready to get back to the regular program. Um, hope you learned something. Hope this talked you into going on a cruise. Um, I love you guys. I want the best for you guys. Um, if you have anything that you'd like to say, please leave it in the comments below. Until next time, I'll see you later.